And now let's proceed to practical demonstration of our capacity design. I prepared for you uh, this kind of pre-qualified joint. Uh, it's a, a beam connection to column and I have it open here. So let's proceed right into the application. Let's say I'm an engineer and I prepared this joint to pass the code check for stress strain analysis, which is the first step and I'm satisfied. So then I will create a copy to, uh, to keep that data and now I will turn to this capacity design analysis right here at the top. Now I have some new features here. Uh, first step is will be to insert the loads according to my calculations. And uh, I calculated the, lo the loads in uh, uh, this way. So my bending moment for seismic analysis is this one. So let's, let's apply it on the beam. And according to my bending moment, the shear force must be inserted. And of course, I want two uh, load effects with um, opposite acting forces. So I just change the direction. Right now, uh, in another step, uh, we will choose the dissipative item at the top and we will choose it for the beam IPA 360 because I think the plastic hinge will occur here at the beam just slightly uh, uh, slightly ahead of this uh, stiffener. And uh, one of the last things, uh, the stiffener is uh, approximately 360 millimeters uh, in the distant distance from the beam, uh, from the center of the joint, from the node. So I need to fill this value uh, here uh, as a position. And last thing, I will change the model type for the beam uh, because I want to have the formation only in a, a vertical plane of the beam itself. So great, that's it. We can turn on the calculation and let run the iteration process. As you can see, um, the analysis trying, tr is trying to find the equilibrium and we can see that it's not so quick because uh, it's a little bit overloaded and you can see that uh, the, uh, the percentage is dropping down, the application is trying to find the equilibrium in a, a smaller increases of the applied loads. And right now we can see that our joint didn't pass the code check for the capacity design. Okay, what else? We have to do some changes in the design. Okay, I will increase the thickness of the end plate and I will add a stiffening plate, the doubler, on the web of the column. Just give me a second, I will turn these operations on. Uh, with these welds, I will weld this doubler to flanges on both sides and I will cut uh, the, these stiffeners with the doubler. And now my modification is done and I'm sure right now it will pass the code check for the capacity design. And you can see the calculation is a little bit more quicker now uh, because the equilibrium is there. And right now uh, we have our results here. So the connection passed the code check. Our plates and bolts are okay. And we can, for example, uh, check out uh, where is the plastic hinge on the beam. And you can see that it occurs right uh, behind the 
stiffener as we expected and we are satisfied with this behavior.